So what do you want to do for your video this week? We should have a home game. In our tiny apartment? Will you be wanting the back pot, sir? Middle of the day, Alfred. Not very subtle. The Lamborghini, then. Much more subtle. Hi, guys. I'm across the street from the Oaks at this beautiful skate park in Emeryville. And whenever the Oaks gets kind of crazy or it's a lot going on, usually it's on Fridays like this, I come over here and walk around and it's just a beautiful park. And the Oaks is like 15 minutes away from my house. It's really my home game because it's up the street from my house. Um, I was going to share a limit 61208 hand, high-low split, but it's just, too complicated to get into there's so much going on in the hand and it was very wordy so I'm going to share a 612 limit hold'em hand with you it's my second hand I just sat down I'm in the small blind with eight five of clubs the hand goes six ways and everyone completes the big blind checks and we go six ways to the flop the flop is pretty much gin for us it's nine, six, seven. We flop a straight. So I check and the person in the cutoff makes it one bet. And the person on the button has just rebought and they've bought in short. And he makes it two bets. I make it three bets. The initial razor folds and he completes the three bets. And we're going to a turn. The turn is a not so great card for us. It's a nine of diamonds so it pairs the board and it puts a flush draw out there so I lead for one bet he being very short only has one bet and then four of the two dollar chips after that because it's six chips that is one bet and so he goes all in I call and table my hand and he has eight queen of diamonds so he has a one-liner to a straight on the flop and now he has a one-liner to a straight and a flush draw on the turn on a paired board. And the river is a four of diamonds and he wins the hand and he says, long time no eat, long time no eat. But the importance of this hand is how you handle yourself when things don't go well. Unfortunately, I felt a little, I don't know what I felt, but I was very rude and I said, playing like that, I can see why. And that's not the way to handle yourself as a professional. I remember the first time I ever met Daniel Negreanu, he was extremely nice to me, even when it was early in the morning and it was a Poker Stars event, and I learned something from him. You're really a salesman of yourself, and that has always stuck with me. And I felt like I lost a small pot and the money didn't mean anything, but handling yourself was the most important part. Whether it's going your way, whether it's not going your way, always be inviting and being pleasant and polite and someone people want to play with. Curtain talk. Basically shit don't change. We've been back in the Oaks and nothing has changed. Same dealers, same cards, same carpets, same raggedy tables, same terrible players, same floor people. Nothing has changed. 365 days, one rotation around the sun and absolutely nothing has changed. We haven't missed anything. And that was a problem when I initially like banned myself, me and my wife banned ourselves from here for a year. I was like, the game's gonna pass me by, I'm gonna miss something. Like a fear of missing out on something. But you're not missing anything. Like get your finances together, get your mental health together, do whatever you need to do so that you're the best player and you're your best self when you go out there and play. And that's what we really have done. Card and talk. All right, enough grinding for the day. Let me show you first Friday here in Oakland.
this is my neighborhood. Um, thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for watching and seeing First Friday. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below so you can be registered for the giveaway to the giveaway. Thank you. <laughs> what are you even doing? What is that move? Is that even a thing? All right, we go to the house.